Today we're gonna organize my pin board. Let's get started. Hey guys, my name's Haley. Welcome back to the Disney Cupcake channel. Before we get into this video, please consider subscribing. It would really help me out and it will also give you more daily Disney content. Let's get started. So I have 983 Disney pins. So since I received a few more recently, we got to reorganize my pin board. I normally do this after every Disney trip. But it's been a while and it's going to be a while, so I figured why not rearrange them all now. That way you guys can also get a better look at some of the series of pins that I have. Because I know in my recent pin collection video, which I will have linked down below, up above, and at the end of the video, I kind of had some trouble showing you guys the collections that I had because everything was just so disorganized. So today you guys will get a better look at my pin collection along with seeing how I reorganize my pin display. I have received some questions recently asking what type of like cork boards I use. Um, these I just got from like the local craft store. Nothing super special about them. Although if you do go in person to purchase them, I would choose the ones that aren't as thick or like as dense because then it is harder to like put the pins into it and taking them on and off the pin board then can damage the back of them so the pin boards that I have are a little bit thinner that way I for sure know I'm not damaging the pin. With all of that said let's start taking all the pins off the wall. So I had some assistance getting the cork boards off of the wall. So I got all the boards off except for one and it is this top one. This top one is actually cut so it goes like inside of the shelf so I'm just gonna have to take all these ones off while they're still on the wall. So my plan of attack is to take all the pins off their board and sort them by their categories. So like I have Duffy and Friends, I have Tokyo Disney, I have Toy Story, I have Disney Attractions, I have the cuties, the foods, all of that. So I'm going to sort them all in little piles of that. Then I'm going to hang the empty cork boards back up on the wall and then we're going to put all the pins back up on the board. So I'm interested to see how long this takes. It is currently 12.30 right now and I'll keep you guys updated. <laughs>
so around 9 o'clock the next day I finished the pin board. I had so much fun reorganizing it I have to say. If you guys watched my room like cleaning video I talked about how much I love doing this kind of stuff and that was one of those things. I've been looking forward to doing that for a long time but I was waiting until I got just a few more pins to be able to reorganize them all in their proper collections. So let's take a closer look at the collections that I separated them into. And since I have the big ladder out today this won't be as shaky as in my pin collection video which is pretty good. So first starting off at the very very top, the first three rows there are all of my Tsum Tsums. I have them kind of in order by their collections or whatever series that they were from. Below that here we move from Frozen to Sleeping Beauty to Cinderella to Enchanted. Coming back down here we have Pocahontas, Snow White, Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, Moana, and Mulan. And then below that there we have all of the Tinkerbell ones. Then transitioned to Tangled. And then there you guys can see where like it cuts into the shelf. Below that here we have Peter Pan and Dumbo. And then this moves into then all of our classic Disney. Alice in Wonderland, Fantasia, Wreck-It Ralph, and then there's the rest of the Tinkerbell right there. And then just continuing with that section since both the Tinkerbell and Winnie the Pooh are the same, I did the Winnie the Pooh little collection, Big Hero 6, Roger Rabbit, Nightmare Before Christmas, Bambi, and The Lion King. Below that we move into Star Wars, so we have some of the droids, we have the Mandalorian, the different helmets, more droids, some of the Visa card members, some of the collections, the child, and more droids there. As you guys can see, that puts us at the bottom of our first board, and here I have the Disney Cruise Line Star Wars collection. So then here we finish up with the rest of the Star Wars. And then we have our one Marvel one there. I thought that would be a good transition then into more superheroes and droids from Pixar. So that is how I transitioned to Pixar. And then there we have more Pixar. Like Monsters, Inc. and Inside Out. And I kind of like how they were able to go right over the seam of the boards. That way from far back you won't really be able to tell that they're separate boards and they look like they're all together. We have some Ratatouille. Up and Cars. Finding Nemo and Finding Dory. And then we move into Toy Story. So we have some of the ones there from Box Lunch, some of the ones from Toy Story Land, California, the different attractions, Shanghai Disneyland. And then here we also have some jumbos like this one here from Al's Toy Barn. Below that here we have a lot of Toy Story ones coming up. Different ones again from like Shanghai Disney and different mystery packs. And here we move into the Disney Store sets. These ones were released for all four movies in the Toy Story series. So you guys can see here we have all of our classic characters. And then that moves down to ones from Toy Story 3 and 4. Down here again we finish that off and then we finish up with our classic Pixar ones which are pretty neat. 
And then we finish up right here with our last two little Pixar ones. And then that transitions into this little cutie plush series right here. And then that will continue us into the rest of the cuties. One of my favorite collections. So I'm going to do a faster overview of these ones. And then I'll just go over some of the transitions that I did to help make my pins blend all together. But I will have my pin collection video linked down below if you guys want to see me go through them a little bit slower and in more detail. Then I went from cuties to these somewhat more realistic ones and then to the actual realistic ones. So from there we finish up with the cuties and then we have all of our Minnie Mouse ones. I like to collect the Mickey and Minnie ones or just Mickey and friends in general. So you guys can see here this whole row is all mini. We come back over here, we finish up with our mini, and then we transition here into some of our Mickey and Friends, but I wanted to keep this one in its collection. So now we have down here all of the Mickey and Minnie together. And that will then get us here into our Mickey and Friends. Again, they're right on the seam of that second board. So here are the next three rows of all Mickey, and then it transitions into Mickey and Friends once again. And of course, if we're talking about Mickey, we need to talk about Walt, so I also have some of my Walt Disney ones mixed in there, and then you guys can see it transitions into all of the goofy ones. Pluto, Chip and Dale, Three Caballeros. As you guys can see here, I end with Chip and Dale, so moving back over this way, we have the rest there of the Three Caballeros and some other smaller Disney sets. That then transitions us right here from the Chip and Dale or Mickey and Friends right into Stitch with those two robot ones. So now we have all of our Lilo and Stitch collection. We finish up there with Lilo and Stitch, and then we just move right into our Hawaii ones and Alani. And then there from Alani, you guys can see Olu and Duffy. So then that transitions us right into our Duffy and Shelly Mae ones. So we're going to come back over here. So then there's all of our Duffies. There's our Duffy headbands, and then that will transition us into the different Disney ear hats. So I have all of my ear hats there. Once again here, moving back, we have the rest of the ear hats, and then that will get us right into Mickey heads. So there are the next two rows of our hats and Mickey heads. And then some more Mickey and Friends collections like the locks. And there with the locks we have the keys and the stamps. These ones are just kind of general Mickey and Friends series. We have the luggage tags and safety pins from Hong Kong Disneyland. And moving down here, sticking with Hong Kong, we have the carousel collection. And then right into Vinylmations. I figured since I was already doing collections and I collect Vinylmations, it kind of made sense just to jump right into those. And there we have the bottle caps to go with the pop cans, we have the Disney e-tickets, and then there, the bottom row, we transition into Disney food, and that top row kind of helps with the Disney parks, Disney food kind of theme. And you guys can see here the rows of Disney food, like the lollipops, the fruits, the vegetables, the caramel apples, the donuts, the waffles, the macarons. And then here we have more of those Disney Donut Shop ones that open. I ordered the Minnie Mouse one and the Goofy one since that pin collection video, because I just thought it was a really, really great collection. So I added those ones to my recent pin count. Here we have some of the Disney cupcakes. Along with some more donuts and treats. Below that there you guys can see all of the ice creams, the cookies, the holiday treats. 
the hot chocolates. And then since we just ended with Disney Park holiday treats, I just transitioned it right into popcorn and then Disney Parks, but I'm still trying to keep that cutie theme before we head back to the more realistic stuff. So I did the Kingdom of Cute collection. And then we move into some more like smaller miscellaneous collections themed to Disney Parks. And then here we have one of my truly favorite collections, the Disney Parks. So there we have some ones from Disneyland Paris. General Tokyo Disney Resort, Shanghai Disney Resort, and then that takes us right into Magic Kingdom and Walt Disney World. So then finishing here, heading back over here, we have more of the general Walt Disney World, monorail, Disney Difference, some spinners, and then we have the different Disney resorts that I have stayed at along with a few other ones. Like the Copper Creek one, I got that one at the Character Warehouse, but I have not stayed there just yet. Port Orleans and my favorite resort that I've not stayed at yet is Contemporary, so we have some of the Contemporary ones, some of the ones that open up. And then ending here with the Boardwalk, the Boardwalk is basically attached to Epcot, so then here we jump right into Epcot. And then from there we just go to Animal Kingdom. But that transition will make more sense later. So here we have the rest of the Animal Kingdom that are just on this board. Since we're talking about animals, I jumped right into Jungle Cruise and kind of stayed over in that area. Then made my way over to Haunted Mansion and Small World, Splash Mountain and Tomorrowland. Jumping back over here, we have more of the Magic Kingdom ones here. then we jumped into Hollywood Studios. Jumping back over here, here's where the transition begins to make sense. We have a Launch Bay, Batu, Smuggler's Run, Star Wars Land, and then Disneyland. Because these ones are all also in Disneyland, it kind of made sense that that was a better transition than having like any of the Animal Kingdom ones or Epcot ones by it. I know a lot of the Magic Kingdom ones are also at Disneyland, but I feel like this one for sure made the most sense since all of these pins are the same in both places. So there we have the rest of the Disneyland. And then we move into the dated ones. So we have the 1955, 71, and 82. We jump down here to the happy birthday and then we start the true years that I've been to Disney World. So we have 2004, 5, and 6. And then these go in like dated timeline order. So we have Easter, then Christmas. Then we have 2009. 10 and 12. Then also in 2012 was the 30th anniversary of Epcot, so we have that one. 2014 spring. 2015 spring, summer, and fall. And then we have the, and then here we have the start of 2016. Jumping back over here, we have the spring break, and Easter of 2016. Summer of 2016, the grand opening of Shanghai Disney, the fall of 16. You guys can see here how they go by their anniversaries, Halloween, and winter. Our last little bit of winter there, and then jumping into the beginning of 2017, the spring break of 17, spring of 17, fall of 17, and then 18. So you guys can see here we have the rest of 18 again in order that they took place and then all the way down to the holidays here and going back down here we're almost done we have 2019 in order sorry it's so like hard to show now I'm like on the floor and then there is our last of 2019 and our first 2020 Pixar Playtime. And then moving back here, we have the last few ones I can hang, but you guys can see we are to the floor now. And I still have some of my pins in my display case on my H, and also just very few here left on my banner. And this is probably where all my newer ones will, will go once the board is completely full. And if you're looking for fun ways to display your pins, I also have the pin book with the Minnie Mouse the main attraction, 
pins in there and I will be doing a video on the April collection so stay tuned for that and then here I also have the magnet pin displays that I have shown in a past pin collection video and I shared with you guys the SC store and everything that these go along with so I have some pins on there as well. And oh my gosh lastly I forgot to show you guys my castle collection is now hung up here on my wall. I am super excited to continue that collection. I love those pins so so much and I will have that video linked down below if you guys would like to see that pin in more detail because it is very very cool. So a lot of you guys were talking to me about that series. Some of you guys have said that bi-monthly means that it is like every other month or that it is twice a month. If you look up the definition of bi-monthly, it does mean both of those things. It does mean like twice a month or it does mean like every other month or every two months or whatever it is. So I apologize, I do not know exactly. I just basically said from the site what it said, but I do not know for sure. As of right now, there's no like specific date for when that collection will be released but I will keep you guys updated on both Twitter and Instagram and here on YouTube if I can of when that will be released so you guys know as well so don't forget to check me out on those social medias as well all linked down below there I'll also have my other pin collection videos again if you guys would like to see my collection more detail where I keep all of my pin backs and other tips and tricks to your pin collection if you guys have any questions regarding my pin collection leave them down below in the comments Comments or join me for my live streams on Saturday at 2 p.m. where you guys can ask me those questions and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Remember to do what you love and do what makes you happy and I'll see you guys tomorrow in another new video. Bye!